Hey YouTube, this is Duct Tape Goat. I've got this uh, CCH2501A I was working on last time. And this is post case mod. I'm pretty stoked. You know, my lighting's pretty poor in here, but. Let me show you what we got going on here. This right here is an 80 millimeter fan. No, right there is our three and a half. Up underneath, got some pretty basic wiring, just hot and neutral. As far as the induction, because both these fans are blowing on intake, they're both blowing into the unit, and that is drilled out on each side just a series of holes probably 150 per you know it took a fair amount of time but definitely worth the end result taking a look here you can see the uh, wiring mess I got going on here we've got three wires coming off of that main power unit and what we've got is gray brown and black black is always neutral 99% of the time our brown wire is our hot and that's what we tied in our red to and gray we actually left alone and yeah these are actually going to be affected as well by the speed of this fan that's inside so as the unit gets hot and this fan spins up faster these fans outside will spin up faster too I ran 72 hours of uh, uptime and back here we maintained a nice cool temperature. Um, we still got a little bit warm, you know, on the underside and over here. You know, it definitely would not hurt to run these on a on a laptop style cooling pad. Uh, preferably always homemade, of course. You know, externally powered on a 120 system. But you know, maybe we'll end up doing something like that with a male female directly off of that, so, so you can just splice right in. But another day, another day. I'm pretty pleased with it though, it's not too loud. You know, I can leave my TV at just regular volume and, you know, it's, I don't really have to turn it up any louder than I normally do. You know, it's very nice, it's very comfortable. Unlike those intercoolers, if you've ever used those intercoolers, you know, they're just hell. So, yeah, got some nice flat black grills over the top, keep shit from falling in, busting up those blades and frying shit on the board. But yeah, you know, I am uh, very stoked. And so you know that this is uh, this unit that's turned on here. You know, it's all about that proof of concept. So yeah, I am super pleased with this. Came out very quickly, very easily. Looks very good and is very efficient. So YouTube, I hope you enjoy knowing that you can replace your overheating power supply or not just replace it, but fix it with a badass looking case mod that costs about six bucks and a couple hours of time as opposed to you know, a thirty dollar replace power supply that's gonna do the same damn thing. So if you didn't see my other video, check it out. My other video is uh, over here. PS3 Slim Power Off Shut Down Demo and Fix, not YLODC CH2501A. I sure hope you enjoyed that. I know I'm enjoying this PS3 that I picked up for $40 and fixed for six in a couple hours of time. So enjoy YouTube. Have yourselves a great rest of your day. This is Duct Tape Goat signing off.